Hey everyone, it's David Pike again, Motor City Mechanic. Now today we got a video that's going to be on a 4.7 liter Chrysler engine. Uh, we use that engine across the line as far as Jeep, Dodge, and Chrysler as well. What we've got going on is the customer's got a complaint as, as they're driving, the uh, RPM is jumping up and down, it's causing transmission to shift in and out of gears. It's also stalling at times at traffic lights. So it's also set a check engine light, which is actually a good thing. Now, from experience, I kind of already knew what to look for on this vehicle because I've seen this time and time again. Uh, that's the good thing about bringing it to a dealership because more than likely, if it's a common issue, they already know about it. So it saves some time as far as diagnosing. It also saves some money as far as people throwing parts at something. So always, if you can, bring it to a dealership I mean, you, it all depends on who you get. I mean, you can get good people at dealerships, bad people, same thing as independent shops. So, uh, more than likely, you have a better chance there because, number one, they've got all the equipment to do it. So, nonetheless, uh, symptoms we got, like we already said, check engine light. Great. That's going to give us something to kind of narrow it down. Hopefully, it's related to the concern and not something else where the light's been on for a while before this started happening. Two, we already know that the idles jumping up as far as RPM you know that there's also an issue if it's stalling and for me knowing that it's a 4.7 liter so we pull the coats and I want to go in a little detail about the codes shortly let me just go ahead and summarize what's going on pull the codes we've got TPS related codes three of them in general and they are all related to that none related to anything else currently uh, as far as PCM or engine controller now, for those who don't know what a TPS is, TPS stands for Throttle Position Sensor. Uh, what that basically means is the computer for the car, the eyes and ears of it are multiple sensors. One of the most important ones is what we call the Throttle Position Sensor. What that does is that tells the computer where you have the throttle depressed at. So, as you press down on the throttle, this one has a cable run up to the engine. The engine up there on the throttle body has a sensor on the opposite side, and as the cable moves, so does the sensor. So now the computer knows how far you've depressed the pedal, where the pedal is. Now with that, it can add more fuel, take away fuel, move the timing. That's how it actually accelerates the engine technically. So. Whenever you have a problem with that, that can affect a lot of things. In this case, it's causing it to cut off. It's causing it to uh, fluctuate. It's, it's physically thinking. It's the computer's thinking, oh, you're moving the throttle, letting off. You're moving your erratically just like that. It doesn't know that the sensor is bad. It knows something's out of whack, so it's set to check engine light. So that's where it comes down to us having to check it. One of the best things I like to do is I can go out there and I can actually wiggle the TPS or the connector right there at the TPS and I can actually hear a difference in idle. I can hear the RPM go up, I can hear the RPM go down. And if it's really acting up very well, I can actually hook up the scanner to it and I can watch the live data. Now in theory, nothing's being depressed on that throttle. The TPS sensor should read normal or normal straight line because nothing's happening. As you depress the throttle, the line starts changing accordingly. It's common sense there. So if it's acting up, I should see movement throughout that wave pattern. And that's what I'm going to show you. I've got some live data that I captured on it showing you what's going on. And I actually show you how to replace the part, where it's at, and also show you how to check it afterwards and make sure everything's all right. So with that, you get comfortable and let me get these videos together for you so you can see what we're about to do. Alright, so here's actually the scanner view uh, showing all the modules present as well as the codes. Now the codes at the bottom, uh, the darker blue is the first one. Uh, it's P2074 map slash TPS correlation. Then you got P0124 TPS slash APP intermittent. And finally P0068 manifold pressure TPS correlation. Now the first and third code are pretty much identical codes. Uh, they match each other as far as description. The middle one, uh, P0124, TPS, and APP intermittent. Now, this doesn't have an 
accelerator pedal position sensor it just uses the TPS but either way the TPS at one point wasn't reading correctly so now we've got an item and we can narrow down the search on what we need to do and we did find that all three codes are related to the same item we don't have any codes that have been in there for a long period of time that caused the light to be on before so now what we need to do is crank the vehicle up get up under the hood uh, while we've got our data on our scanner and start moving things and see if we get some erratic readings and we'll go ahead and record any screenshots we get of that alright so here's our live data it's actually happening in real time as you can see we've got lots of peaks and spikes ups and downs it pretty much should be straight across the board unfortunately in this case we're getting such a erratic signal that the uh, engine controller thinks that someone's pressing depressing the throttle cable or pedal over and over so of course we've got some crazy things going on with the RPM we've got the stalling out when it drops down too low we've got it just flaring up and down so there's definitely a problem there